Former ASU athlete Brandon McGee is bringing the same energy he brought to the Pac-12 now to Hollywood as an executive producer of Red Zone, a Netflix film that tells his family story. It's dedicated to Dominic Red, Brandon's best friend, who was murdered at the age of 15. Tia McGee, Brandon's mother, who's played by Jada Pinkett Smith, brought in 17 of Brandon's friends and supported them as all of them were able to make their way to college. Brandon caught up with me a few weeks ago to talk about the project. Why was it important to tell this story to the world? <laughs> well, the simple fact is, back to the beginning and who was named after, Dominic Red passed away when he was 15 years old. He changed my life forever. Everything y'all seen me do on that field, in the weight room, in the media, giving back to the community, the type of person I am is because of him. And he had that same impact on other guys that live at the house and live outside the house in the community. So it's a given. I was put here on earth to tell my friend's story, but they need to see what happens and the impact you can have at somebody at such a young age. And then what happens when people come together with one common goal? That's why the story needs to be told. The role of your mother being played by Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, huge. Huge, absolutely huge. Um, what does it mean to you that you can have these heavy hitters in Hollywood wanting to be a, a part of this project that is so near and dear to your heart? Having Westbrook and Jada Pinkett Smith playing my mom is an absolute honor. These people are champions. They're great human beings. I love talking to them. They're great creators. And it's just such an honor and a blessing to be working with them. Now, at one time in your house, your mom had, was it 17 boys in there? Yep. There was actually more, but we had to limit the, the number. Yeah. <laughs> what was that experience like? Uh, you know, and the, the fact she was able to, to take on all of that. And so many of you guys have been able to go on and, and be very successful. I would say it was a roller coaster ride. It was a highlight of my life that if so, if God said, all right, you gotta go back and relive something, I'd go back and live with all of my friends again. Cause all of my friends encouraged me and they still encourage me. So, man, those guys mean so much to me and my mom and everybody and I wish I could tell you more stories about what happens in the house, but you got to watch the film to do it. But uh, yeah, even telling them the news. I got to tell all my friends that news. You can only imagine how happy I was and how happy D-Red is and my mom and Dominic's parents. It was, it was a blessing. You've had to have a lot of discipline on the football field on the baseball field, what lessons, what skill sets did you take from the athletic side of things to get this project done and start thriving in Hollywood? Everything. I would say the biggest lesson is this. My motor doesn't stop. That's the difference. People might have a dream or a goal or might say I'm going to do this or that, but when I say something, I literally do it. And I do it to a point of insanity. In Hollywood and on the playing field, on the playing field, I see my competition. You get to see your teammates working out. So you kind of know how to gauge how to lift more and work more than your athlete, friends and peers. In Hollywood, producers and writers, they're unseen. Nobody knows how hard they're working. So if you thought I worked hard, when I can see them, I'm working even harder by guessing that they're working harder than me. So I'm always leveling up. Every single day, I'm out there doing something to improve my life. I will never be caught. There's nothing that can stop me and no one. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's about to be scary time out here. There's nothing that can stop me. Well, I don't know if we can finish on a better note than that, Brandon. Congratulations. 
very happy for you. I can't wait to see the project. And also, I think for those of us that covered you back in Tempe, this is no surprise. Thanks, man. I, it's a pleasure and honor being on this show.